Welcome to another episode of Cabinet Cocktails where we are making what's inside of your cabinet, not necessarily what's at our bar or at our distillery. All right, on this special episode of Cabinet Cocktails, we do have a guest bartender. So what we did is we had you send in your photos, and this one comes from Lanessa. Looks like inside of uh, this cabinet, we've got a little bit of triple sec. Oh, there's some wine in there. Ginger, some cilantro, uh, a little bit of whiskey, apple. I think we got some good stuff to work with here. Um, so our guest bartender that's gonna be handling what's in your cabinet, Lanessa, is a good friend of mine. Uh, he also works at High Bank Distillery. We do cocktail competitions together and fail miserably together. Uh, so I am happy to have him on this episode of Cabinet Cocktails. Zach Jensen, it's all you. Do, do I just come in now? All right, Lynette, so thank you for that submission there. As Rudy said, you know, we have been to a lot of cocktail competitions, haven't won one, but we always have had the best drink. So I don't know what's going on with that. First thing we'll do, we'll actually take the apple and do a little slice or two on this. Get one for the garnish. You're having one too, right? All right, two for the garnish. It's muddle without whiskey. Might have a catastrophe on your hands if that happens. Oh, Jesus, not the way to go. So just muddle this in here, get a nice little juice going. All right, that looks good. I saw cilantro in there too, which I really, really liked, but give a nice little herbaceousness. Get all the aromas out, get the smells going. So now what you'll do is you'll take two ounces of whiskey. More the better, right? And then salt triple sec in there as well. So what we'll do, uh, a quarter ounce and that'll be good. Ooh, yikes, that wouldn't have been good. That's way too much, way too much. Too early to start drinking. Poor Zachary Jensen didn't know that it was too early. Ginger, I like that. And we're gonna do a nice little syrup out of it. So at home, just take your ginger root, dice it up, throw it into a pot with some water, some sugar, cook it down, wait until you start getting those smells, and then just strain it out, and then you've got a nice ginger, ginger syrup. So, this one here, about three quarters of an ounce. Little spills happen all the time. Don't worry about it. Ice it up. All right, give it a nice little shake. I know Rudy does that whole bartender just shaking around, jumping thing. Don't need to do that, just nice and easy. That's all you need to do. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna double strain it, just so we don't have any pieces of apple or cilantro in there. Then, Lynette, so the one thing I noticed was you also had the, uh, the, the slangeria from Rheingeist in there. Unfortunately, we couldn't get our hands on that, so what we're gonna use is a different cider, Rekelradurkerlig. Blackberries, blueberries, stuff like that works really, really well with whiskey, so pour that in, just top it off. Give it a little stir real quick, just to kind of mix that all in there. Slide these apples in there, slice. All right, oh, 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 that's not the way to do that. All righty, let's try this again. I get it wrong. All right, here we go. Wow, all right, now, before we're done, let's just throw a little cilantro in there, you know. Look at that, here we go. Put it up there nice like that. Okie dokie. We'll give Rudy the nice good one here. All right, cheers. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? Siri jumped in on that one. That's pretty darn good. That is, that is phenomenal. That's a great drink. Definitely give it the stir, though. You don't want all the cider on top. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on Cabinet Cocktails. <laughs> 100 percent. <laughs> <second. laughs> if you like that episode of Cabinet Cocktails, be sure to like and subscribe and share and go to YouTube and other social media outlets and tell your friends and tell your grandmother because I'm sure she'd love a cocktail too out of her cabinet, send me a photo.